Hey. Hey, y'all. Happy, what's today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday to each and every one of you. I know it's been a while since I've been up here, but y'all, I've been crazy busy. Seriously, just, just crazy busy, but I love every minute of it. Listen, I wanted to stop by real, real quick and encourage someone. Listen, I know you're the strong one. I know you're the one that everybody comes to when they have problems and they have issues. I know you're the one that people look up to. I know you're the one that people consider the strong one. I know you're the one that, you know, you're always there for everybody and, you know, you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders and all types of stuff like that. And I know you're the one that, you know, people look up to and, and feel, you know, you're the logical one and you have the answers and all of that and all that other stuff. But guess what? I know you get tired. I know you get tired. And guess what? It's okay to not be okay. See, we got this thing where especially being in church and you've been saved for a while. We 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 we've been taught that you know you're a seasoned saint and some things just shouldn't bother you like they used to or or you know you you've been on this journey for a long time and All types of things like that. And so many people are suffering because they have been taught you got to stay strong no matter what. Well, I beg to differ because the Bible tells me that was it Mary when, 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 or Martha, it was one of them. When she saw Jesus coming, she said, if you would have been here. Mm-hmm. My brother wouldn't have died. And the Bible also tells me that Jesus wept. So you're telling me the Savior of the world, the one that came to die for our sins, the one that stripped himself of his deity to come down here and already knew what we were going to do. He cried. He wept. And see, I want people to understand something with wept. We ain't talking about just tears rolling down your face. When you think of somebody that's weeping, when when, when you think of somebody weeping, they're crying, they snotting everywhere, they're hurt to their soul. So can you imagine the savior of the world weeping because his friend Lazarus had died? So I came to let somebody know today, stop allowing people to tell you or make you feel like you're weak. You're not as saved as you say you are. You don't have as much faith as you say you do. That's a lie from the pits of hell. Some days it's okay to not be okay. You ain't got to try to run around and like you got it all together and you the perfect Christian and you know you strong and everybody depends on you. Well, okay, then who do you depend on? Because there's going to come a breaking point that you're going to have to lean on somebody. And that somebody is Jesus. See, we can't Make it in this world by ourselves. We can't carry all this stuff and just think that that we got it. Because again, the word tells me that as Jesus was carrying the cross, didn't someone help him? Somebody helped Jesus carry the cross. So why do we get in our mind? I don't need nobody. I don't, I don't need nobody. I got this. I can't stand people. I don't need that. that. You sound ignorant. That's a lie. 
because we all need somebody in some type of capacity, in some type of way, in what, 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 in some type of form or fashion. We need each other. If we call ourselves the body of Christ, you honestly going to tell me that if I get my arm cut off, that I can still write with that arm. No, I need my arm. I need my arm. I need my shoulder because that's what my arm is attached to. I need my hand, but I also need my wrist because that's what my hand is attached to. I need my knee. Why? Because they can't attach my leg to my thigh. So I need that knee because that knee is connecting the two parts that I need. And we get in, in, in this place that we don't need each other. We got to stop. And we also get, get in this mind frame, you know, I, I just got to keep going. I just got, you know, you got to press and you got to do this. Listen, it's okay for you to stop for a minute. It's okay for you to catch your breath. It's okay for you to say, hold up, time out. Now, I ain't say give up. I ain't say throw in the towel. That ain't what I'm saying. But I'm saying it's okay to get your second win. It's okay to gather yourself because a lot of people deal with anxiety and getting overwhelmed and, you know, they, they, it's too much for them. And see, that's why a lot of people in the body of Christ, that's, that's it, Charity. That's the word I was looking for. Regroup. You have to get to a place and stop thinking what other people are thinking about you, really caring, to be honest with you. And I don't care if you're a leader, I don't care if you're a bishop, apostle, a prophet, evangelist. I, I, I don't, first of all, I don't care about no titles because we were human in the beginning. And so we get in this place that, you know, people expect this out of me. People expect me to be strong. People expect me to keep the family together. People expect me to be, to be the strong one. People expect me to be the glue. People expect, how about call she? People expect, people, people, people. But what does God expect? What does God expect? We get so caught up. With what people expect from us. And then here we go on a cycle trying to keep up with what people expect from us. And now when we drained, looking like a prune, them same people that you trying to keep up this facade with ain't nowhere to be found. They don't text you. They don't check on you. They don't come by to see you. They don't cook you nothing. They don't take you out to eat. They don't run you a hot bath. None of that stuff. But we trying to keep up with this stigmata or, 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 or this, uh, um, uh, this label. That's it. This label that people have put on us. My sister and I. I'm the oldest. She's the baby. Almost by what? Seven years. But there's been times that you would have thought she was the oldest and I was the baby. Because she is a strong one. There's times that I had to, you know, depend on her. I had to go to her. And then vice versa. And see what I love about God. When there's two or more people, he won't let both of them be weak. At the same time, want to be weak and want to be strong, but he would never allow both of them, especially when it's a divine connection. Now, I ain't talking about just something you put together, but a divine connection. God would never allow both of y'all to be broken and weak at the same time because it says iron sharpens iron. So you can't have no two dull, two dull knives. One got to be, one got to be sharp. And then as you sharpen the other one, when that one get a little dull, you take turns. So what am I saying? It's okay to not be okay. 
And if you have to go get therapy, if you have to go get counseling, if you even have to get on medication, it's okay. We, as the body of Christ, have got to be willing to unlearn some stuff that we were taught. That what goes on in our house, mm-hmm. stay in our house. See, that's why so many people are still dealing with the after effects of molestation, rape, having um children out of wedlock. Seeing your mom with all these different boyfriends, uncle this, uncle that. Because we were never given that, that, that knowledge, that education that it's okay to talk about these things. It's okay to go seek therapy. But see, as a child, you couldn't control that. But as an adult, it's your responsibility to heal. We can't help sometimes now now sometimes stuff is self inflicted. We can't help who hurt us and who wound us, but it is our responsibility to heal. You owe it to yourself, you owe it to your children, you owe it to everybody that you're connected to, because if you don't heal, you're gonna bleed on somebody that didn't even cut you. You're gonna bleed on others. That never harmed you. You going to bleed on others. That God brought in your life. To help you. So this, this is what I'm saying. It's okay. To not be okay. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you faithless. It, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't make you double minded. It makes you human. Even. Was it Elijah? We got scared of um, Jezebel. Yeah. When Elijah, he ran away. He had to regroup. Now this is the, the, the man of God. This is the prophet. And he had he had to steal away for a minute. Matter of fact, Jesus had to steal away for a minute. Yes, he did. That's why he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He had to steal away for a minute. So I don't understand why we get into this place that, oh no, I, I, I can't take time off. My job needs me. Oh, oh, oh no, my children needs me. And, and no, I gotta do this and I gotta, okay, you, you, okay, gotta. And guess what? Them grown kids that you still babying. That baby daddy that you still going up there to the jail cell putting money on his books. That woman that you still chasing and she just using you for money. That job that you put before anything else. When you go in that grave before your obituary can hit the newspaper. Your position going to be filled. Your baby daddy going to have another female. Put money on his books. Them grown behind kids. You keep trying to save. They still going to be doing their stuff. It's okay to not be okay. And then it's your responsibility to become okay. And that means by any means necessary. Therapy. Counseling. Getting your word. Praise and worship. Medica. Wait. This here, honey. Mm-hmm. Look, look. I I got this. This was in the mail yesterday. Yeah. I got this in the, in the mail. This Zoloft. I got that in the mail yesterday. What's this? My Wellbutrin. What else I got over there? Oh, this is my thyroid. That's my thyroid. Y'all ain't no drug addict. This is my thyroid medicine. This is my medicine here I take. Because um, I'm a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Woo, 
yeah, these, yeah, I, I got, yeah, these two right here. Gotta have them. Yeah, cause I might be running out there in the street, but naked. No, I'm playing y'all, but, but seriously. Um, the mood stabilizers. And, um, when I'm not on a regular regimen, yeah, I shut down. I get real quiet. Um, I don't want to be bothered. Um, yeah. I, I, I get off to myself and my husband right here, um, walking on pins and needles and yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, no, no, that is, it's not a good thing. And we have got to get to a place that takes nothing away from me, from being a woman of God, from being a pastor, from bringing the word, from knowing the word, living the word. We got to stop. Worrying about what people think about us. We got to take off these labels that people have put on us. We, we got to take it off. We got to take it off. We, we, we've got to take them off. Because if God didn't give you that label, mm -hmm. why, you let somebody else get why would you allow someone else to give you that label? Yes, you're strong. That's, that's right. That's right. We can't always be the superhero. That's it. Sometimes we need a hero. And that's okay. You look at movies. Sometimes the hero even needs help. Mm -hmm. Ain't that why they had the, ju what is the Justice League? Mm -hmm. Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, all... Even Jesus had the three. Mm -hmm. Even Moses had Aaron and her holding up his arms. He also had Joshua. So stop thinking that you got to go through stuff alone and stop thinking so bad of yourself and being so negative when, when things happen or, you know, you just don't feel like being bothered. Or, or, you know, you don't, you don't want to get dressed today. Now, I ain't saying seeking to no depression. I ain't, I ain't saying that. But I'm saying on them days, stop thinking that you got to get up and put on makeup and you got to go ripping, running. It's okay if you want to sit down and, and, and look at movies. It's okay if you just want to take a day and don't want to get on Facebook and don't want to post nothing. As much as I know God has called me to be a motivator and an encourager, some days, I, didn't I ask you this yesterday? Mm -hmm. it, it really bothers me when I take a day off of Facebook and, and don't post stuff for y'all. It bothers me. But God had to show me. You ain't going to always be here. So if you die, how they going to become, how they going to get motivated? Mm -hmm. How they going to be encouraged? Because sometimes we got to encourage ourselves. Sometimes we got to motivate ourselves. Don't take on that responsibility. Yes, I gave you a calling. Yes, I gave you an assignment. But it's not a sentence. That was good. I can preach on that one. I gave you an assignment, not a sentence. An assignment shouldn't feel like no sentence. Because once you get done with the assignment, you move on to the next. Some of us been on the same assignment for 10 years. And God done told you to move. He done told you to let it go. He done told you to leave him alone. He done told you to hush. And what you doing? You're draining yourself. You're overwhelming yourself. You're tiring yourself out. Now you got anxiety. You're having panic attacks. Stop. Stop. Seriously, stop. Just stop. I got what's what you call this thing? My my Afghan get my Afghan. What's this thing called? Um, uh, a cat Afghan captain cat Afghan yeah, Afghan uh, moo moo whatever this thing. I got it on today. I got it on, and I just really threw my hair on just to, <clears throat> just to do this video. But guess what? I'm about to take this hair off, and I'm going upstairs and take a nap. With my husband before he leave. And it don't take nothing from me. And it would not take nothing from you. It's okay to not be okay. Because sometimes we got to 
step back, reset, regroup, be replenished, be restored, rejuvenate. That's why people go to the spas. That's why people get massages. That's why people go on vacations. Because we need that. We, we, we need it. We need it. Stop walking around here like you, you, you just got to do everything and you know, it's not enough hours in it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's, it's enough hours in it. Yes, it is. Cause guess what? What you don't get done today, if it's God's will, you can do it tomorrow. But you've got to take time out for you. You have to. You can't give everybody and everything all your time and all your energy. You've got to save some for you. I'm going to say this and I'm about to go. We get in a place and we ask God for an overflow. Mm -hmm. We ask God for an overflow. I want y'all to get this. Lord, fill my cup till I overflow. Mm -hmm. Fill my cup till it run over. Mm -hmm. Fill my cup. But see, this is what we, we don't understand. When God fills you up and there's an overflow, that overflow is for others. But what's in that cup is for you. That's why we get depleted. Because before he give us an overflow, come on somebody, you emptying out the cup, trying to give it to everybody. No, what he has in that cup at that particular time is for you. If you haven't received the overflow, maybe it's because God is trying to download and pour some stuff in you. Only you. I ain't saying that you can't give somebody a word, you know, help somebody or whatever. But if there is no overflow, that means it's you and God. Now, when he give you that overflow... Now, you can spread and, and, and give to others. But until you get that overflow, you got to keep something in the cup, baby. You're you you, you going to get thirsty. You're going to get dehydrated. You got to keep something in the cup for you. Yes, you can give a little sip here, a little sip there, but you ain't taking no swallow. You ain't gulping my nope. cup. Nope. And I know I may be saying it comical, but, but I'm serious because so many people over my life have gulped and wouldn't even go get me a bottle of water. You understand what y'all you been thirsty and you done took a big gulp of tea or something or an adult beverage. We've all done gulped before. And you got people because it's so good because, see, you're a good person. You're sweet. You're kind. You're giving. You're loving. You, you, you're forgiving. You're all of this stuff. And see, when, when you, he said, taste and see that the Lord is good. So if I'm a replica of the Lord, that means I'm good, too. So taste and see that Veronica is good and see like my old, like my spiritual mother said, bless her heart. I'm a good nigga to know. Understand that. I'm a, I ain't, I ain't cocky. I'm not arrogant, but I'm a good nigga to know. Because what, if you need something, I'm going to do it. You need my support. If I got it, I'm going to do it. If you call me, I'm going to be there. If you got a question, I'm going to try my best to answer it. You need prayer, I'm going to give you that too. So yeah, I'm a, I'm a good nigga to know. I'm a good friend. I'm a good sister. I'm a good wife. I'm a good aunt. I'm a good whatever. Very. I believe in doing things in excellence. So see, when people taste that... Mm -hmm. They want they they want more and more of it, but yet they ain't giving out about Koshi. They ain't giving you none. See, they 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 want to keep gulping and drinking from your cup, but they ain't going to get nothing to out of. Okay, y'all, I'm I'm about to go. But they they don't want to go get nothing to fill your cup up. Yeah, look at you, depleted. And then when your cup. 
we well never mind, I can't show y'all that. But then we <laughs> thank you. But then see, but then when you start getting empty, see, when you, when you start getting empty, right there. Now they're kind of backing away. Cause them gulps turning into swallows and them swallows turning into sips. So now they, they, they can't, they can't get what they used to get from you. Cause now you, you don't wear broke trying to be a blessing or trying to keep up a facade or, 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 or trying to, to, to buy people or trying to buy they love oh come on somebody you trying to buy somebody's love and affection and attention you trying to buy acceptance and a oh god huh you trying to buy somebody's acceptance and, and their approval and, never and validation and, never and you'll never get it so now you broke Indeed. and you're still feeling worthless you ain't good enough. You don't know who you is. Low self-esteem, low self-image, and you're broke. And now, here, here, here it is. Here it is. Now, look. You done did all that. You came when they called you. You loved on them. You gave them some when they... Okay. Eleven thirty, twelve, one o'clock at night when the phone rung, pager went off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I need you. Okay, I'm coming. Yeah, they needed you. Mm -hmm. And once they, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay then. I um, I I I'll call you. I call you tomorrow around lunchtime, and you don't hear from them. Until the next time they need you. How you do? Come on, baby. Yeah, Pastor, real. I'm, I'm real, real. Yeah. Cause see, it's time out for this patty cake and this sugar coating yeah. stuff. It's time out for that. That's why so many people are still unhealed. That's why so many people are still hurting. That's why so many people are still wounded. That's why so many people are bruised up. That's why so many people are hemorrhaging. Come on, Holy Spirit. Oh, oh God. That's why so many people are hemorrhaging. Help us, Father. And don't even realize it. Do Lord Jesus. About to have an aneurysm. And don't even realize it. Stroke. Because they done gave so much and nothing was given back to them. And now they liver, kidneys shutting down. Liver ain't flushing nothing. Your spleen ain't even fighting off any, uh, y'all, I'm about to go. The spleen ain't even fighting off infections no more. Cause it done got too weak. Yeah. Because every time the church doors opened, you was there. Every time there was something going on, you was there. Every time this, this, you was there. Every time sick, hurting, blind, whatever, the you was there. To, 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 to show them that you're loyal. To show them that, that you love them. To show them, you know, I'm a servant. To show them, them people don't care nothing about you. And when you leave. They're not even going to remember your name. And when you leave, somebody asked them about you two, three years from now. Did you have a member or did you have an employee? Um, I think so. I, I, girl, I, it seemed for their name sound familiar. Mm -hmm. But they were calling. But you was there. That. Help us. But you was there. When nobody else was. When nobody else was. Friends be in the hospital. You getting off work. You running to take them stuff. And as soon as they get well. Oh God. Help us Father. Mm. You don't hear from them. Jesus. Till they get sick again. Mm -hmm. Family. Yep. Yeah. Family come around, needing money, 
Cause they, cause now they, they know when you got paid. And how much you. Pay. Right. They, 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 they done, they done got it down to a science now when your payday is. So now mysteriously, they, they got light bill, mm -hmm. uh, 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 water bill due, uh, yeah, rent. They ain't got no food and all this other stuff. But, 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 uh, um, cause my stamps don't get on my card to next week. And, and if you can get me some food when I get my stamps, I'll give you, but then when they get their stamps, and you call them mysteriously, the phone keep going to voicemail. Mm -hmm. Oh, my phone. And you don't hear from enough. them for three or four days, but see, by this time, they done sold them. Yeah, I, yeah. I ain't fooling with y'all today. That. Huh? That. Oh, I ain't got no more left. Girl, I, I they gone, baby. You know how those kids. Eat. Right. So I'm, I'm, it's, come on. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say I can't. It's okay to, uh-uh, not today. Hey, don't make you it's okay. No, you, you, uh, you know what? You're going to have to find someone else. Can you preach? No, sweetheart. I, I would love to, but no, me and my, my husband, we already planned something. Do you think you could come? Mm-mm. Nope. Don't think I, nah, don't think I will. It's okay. It's okay. Cause nine times out of ten, they done asked two or three other people before they got to you anyway. They was leaving you as the option. What do they call it? Op. You wasn't their first choice. Uh oh. The reserve. Right. The in case of. You was the in, in just in case. Mm -hmm. If I don't hear from you. Right. Then, you, you was the spare. Mm -hmm. The alternate. The, yeah, the alternate. Help us, Father. So I said all of that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I said all of that to really encourage somebody. It's okay to not be okay. You can't be strong all the time. Oh God, we bless you. Because if you're strong all the time, he said his strength is made, is made perfect in our, in our weakness. So if we're never weak, when is his strength going to have the opportunity to become perfect. If we're always strong. And we always there for everybody. And we always going. Speak and we Lord. always showing up. And we Speak always doing Lord. this. Speak Lord. Then when is his strength. Going to be made perfect. Speak Lord. God I just want to we got to give God's strength a chance to be perfect. But we want to do it all ourselves. We want to go get the plant, the seeds. Mm -hmm. Then we want to plant the seed. Mm -hmm. Then we want to go out there and water the seed. Mm -hmm. Then we want to go out there and harvest whatever it grew. Mm -hmm. Then we want. You can't be everything to everybody. You just can't. You can't be everything to everybody all the time. Do what you can do and keep it moving. Be who God created you to be. Stop letting people put labels on you. Stop listening to everything. Stop agreeing to everything. Jesus. Stop amening. Everything. Do you understand when you say amen? Mm -hmm. Say la. And it is so and so it is. You are coming into covenant. You are coming into agreement. To what's being said. Stop amen and everything. Stop, stop agreeing to everything. 
God gave you a mind. Use it. He said, in all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. But we don't want to acknowledge him. We want to do it all on our own. And then when everything get raggedy, toe up, now we want to come running back to him, snotty nose, pigeon toe, and not need it. But, okay. <sighs> All right, y'all. That's it for today. But listen, I'm going to say this real quick. I don't know why my forehead been itching. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this real, real quick. Um, Don't forget to donate to adorn by court. Let's bless people to get hair pieces. If they got lupus, cancer, from radiation, from chemotherapy, fibromyalgia, be a blessing. Be be a blessing. Some people can't afford wigs, hair pieces, whatever. Be a blessing and donate to adorn by court so someone can get them a custom made wig. And also when you donate, I'm giving away two free tickets to the conference. And speaking of conference, February the 10th, from 10 to 2, got some great speakers. Great speakers. And the subject is healing. It's time for us to heal. Heal for real and for good. See, once we heal, we got to stop going back to the place that wounded us. Or stop going back to the person that wounded us. Stop doing the things that caused us to get wounded. Stop picking at the scab. Stop trying to reopen that scar. It's a scar because it healed and it showed you you survived. But don't go and recut the scar back open. Because now you're doing it for attention. Because now you're doing it for a pity party. Because now you're doing it because you enjoy being hurt. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, and get your ticket. We have 16 tickets left. 16 tickets. So come out. Come out and, and support. Great vendors. Great food. Great, great food. Because I'm one of the cooks. But I love y'all for real. I, I, I love y'all. And, um, you know, I, I, I do this. I think my bestie said, um, Bishop Seals preach Sunday. Um, but do it, do it for the love of it. Something like that. Do it for the love of it. I love y'all for real. And I haven't even met two thirds of y'all, but I love your spirit. I love your spirit. I, I love people. I can't help it. Y'all, I've tried to be the baddest bee. I've tried. I've asked God to let my heart wax cold. I've, I, and he said, no, because I made you just like that. Somebody do me wrong. They can come back to me an hour later and I'm going to be right there to help them. It's not bragging. I'm just telling you how my heart is. I genuinely love God. I love people. Yes. I love people. Yes. Because there's something he said when he made us, it was good. It was very good. So there, there has to be some good in everybody. It's just the choices that we make. But also I've learned how not to be a fool too. I've learned how to dust my feet off and I've learned how not to just throw my pearls to swine. That's right. I ain't no fool. I can love you from a distance. I ain't got to be in your face and you definitely don't have to be in mine. So it is what it is. But listen, I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Don't forget to call in tomorrow morning, seven o'clock for prayer. We will be on prayer. I'll post that later. I love y'all. I pray so far that y'all have had a blessed day. I pray traveling mercy if you're at work. I pray that you make it back home. Make it back to your loved ones. I pray your children make it home safe. I pray um 
blessings. I pray that everything that you've asked God for, as long as it's according to his will, that it will come to pass, that it will manifest. I pray for healing. If anyone is hurt, whether it's physical, spiritual, I pray for healing. I pray for provision. I pray for mental and emotional healing and stability. And in everything that you've asked God for, I pray that he dispatch his angels on your behalf. Yes, Lord. That, that's, that's my prayer. I, I'm praying for grieving families, for grieving individuals that have lost a loved one. But I'm also praying that anyone that does not know Christ and the partner of their sin, that they get saved and don't wait to the last minute because time is not promised. That's my biggest prayer. And I pray that you get a chance and you tell somebody about the love of Christ. Yes. Thank you. It ain't about platforms. Mm -hmm. It ain't about for me, you know, getting popular and fame and getting money and, 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 and prosperity messages. Mm -hmm. No, it's about winning souls. And I love it today. The woman of God says something on prayer. And my husband looked at me and he said, you a snatcher. I, what you mean? Like, I ain't right here trying to snatch your goodies. What what you saying? He said, no, you a snatcher. You snatch souls. That's what God said. And I just paused. We, we were upstairs and I paused. And I looked up the word snatcher. It says someone that takes someone or something by force. A snatcher is someone that takes something or someone by force. So with the authority that was given to me, he said, go and teach all nations. He He's given me permission to go in the enemy's camp. And I'm going. I'm going full force. With the piercings, with the tattoos, the bikers, the prostitutes, the ones that think they've done so much that God don't want nothing to do with them. I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming. Bad knees, fibromyalgia, osteoarthritis, all that. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. And what was that on, um, Tombstone that I love, Wide Earp. Mm -hmm. When um when he told the man, he said, "Tell him I'm coming, mm -hmm. and hell is coming with me." Mm -hmm. That's what he told. Yeah, I'm coming, and God is coming with me. I'm 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 coming. I've been commissioned for this. I've been anointed for this. It ain't about getting behind no pulpit. I could do that all day. It ain't about being behind a pulpit. It ain't about putting on that clergy stuff because it's hot and itchy anyway. But it's about winning souls. It's about living what you're speaking. It's about compassion. It's about empathy. Don't ever get too high up on the chain that you forget you one temptation mistake away from being a sinner. I don't care nothing about no title. Mm -hmm. Chief apostle, general, uh, bishop, I don't, I don't care nothing about none of that. I don't care nothing about none of that. Because we are all valuable to sin and to mess up. And to fall from grace. But I'm so glad that God would not leave us there. But he'll pick us back up. So on today. It's okay to not be okay. But do what you need to do. Stop worrying about people. Do what you need to do. To become okay. Don't stay there. Get your second win. Get your little rest. Mm -hmm. To reset. And to regroup. But don't stay there. Because now what's going to happen is you you in Lodabar or you on your way back to Egypt. We ain't, ain't nothing in Egypt for you. Ain't nothing in Egypt for you. Nothing. I don't care how tall Egypt is. 
I don't care how fine Egypt is. I don't care how Egypt looked in heels and that negligee. Talk past it. Talk past it. Those are Egypt's. I know the money looks good. Ain't nothing in Egypt. Ain't nothing in Egypt. Egypt wants to make you a slave again. And if Egypt ever get a hold to you again, Egypt ain't going to let you go. Mm -hmm. Egypt ain't going to let you go. Don't go back to Egypt. Egypt. Don't go back to Egypt. Mm -hmm. And don't look back at Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing back there. Keep looking ahead. Because that's where your blessings are. Keep looking ahead because you got a beautiful future. Yes. Keep looking ahead. Oh, your destiny yes. is beyond anything that you could ever imagine. Keep looking ahead. Look. You ain't even seen your best days yet. Oh Keep looking ahead. You only scratching the surface. Okay. Keep looking ahead. We bless you, Father. And keep your eyes on Jesus. Stop looking at man. <clears throat> Stop looking at positions. Please. Stop looking at titles. Because my husband will tell you. Where my stuff at? Still in the bag. Mm -hmm. All of my ordination paperwork. Co-pastor stuff. Pastor stuff. All of it still in the bag. I'm not impressed by that. I'm grateful. And I'm humbled. But I was doing this before I got the paper. And I'm going to continue to do this. If someone want to take my papers, ain't going to change. That's how you know when you call. That. You don't need a paper. You don't. I'm not justified by a paper. Mm -hmm. I'm justified when he got on the cross. Yeah. That's my justification. So I love y'all as always. Have a blessed, blessed afternoon. Okay, that's my other phone. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And I'll see y'all later. Bye. Shut up, my shut up. Oh, Jesus. Here we are again. Jesus. 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 We are here again in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. You're the one. You're the one, you're the only one. Mm -hmm. Ah, shut up. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Ero mama shanaya. Woo, hasha sheta mashanaya. Oh, 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 Jesus. Touch. Touch, touch by your power. Touch, we need your touch. Touch, touch us. You know how to touch us. You know when to touch us. And you know where to touch us. Touch, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, have your way again today. Yeah. 
You have blessed us so much. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, we love you, Lord. Um, we love you, Lord. Uh, everywhere, uh, for you are everywhere, God. Uh, you are everywhere, God. Uh, touch everywhere. Uh, touch everywhere. Uh, touch, and we will be touched. Uh, touch, uh, and we will be whole. Uh, touch. Uh, Oh, haya shara ma yara ma shanda yahan. Spirit of the living God. Ya 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 ya. Hasha shita ma ma shanda yo oshita. Yero ma ma shanda. Asha, ashata. Yero ma shanda yo o. Mm 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 mm. You can touch when nobody else can touch. And he, the Lord says, touch, touch me again, touch now, Jesus, Jesus, oh Jesus, the mighty God, you're mighty, you're almighty, you know the whens and the where, you know the what's and the go, the ins and the outs, Jesus, oh Hasha, Hasha, Mashanta. Hasha, Mashanta. wonder absolutely a wonder thank you for being in the midst of us you have been here all the week you have showered us with your blessings we shall never forget you are doing great and mighty things so we say yes <laughs> Lord yes to your will and to your way, we'll say yes. And we'll trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with my whole, my whole heart. I'll say, and my will be yes. Lord, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 and my answer will be yes, yeah, yeah, Lord, yeah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord.